Lauren Foster is one of the first transgendered models to pose for Vogue magazine. After 30 years later, she continues to represent the community with her blog, Just Another Girl. I sat down with her to talk about issues facing transgender people today, and we began by discussing Caitlyn Jenner. The most significant event in the past year, I think, probably has been Caitlyn Jenner. Um, I'm not really sure that I like all the attention that's been brought Why? to the... Um, you know, I'm just, as my book and my website is just another girl, I feel like I'm just another girl. And now people look at me like I'm that trans person. And I think that's kind of unfair, and I think it's... And I am just a woman. I'm not trans model or trans celebrity or trans actress. I'm just Lauren. You knew at a very early age that you were different. I did. And we tell me about that. When I was about three or four, my father was a, the cricket captain of our uh, country club, and we would go to see, watch him play cricket, and, you know, after the match, my brother and I would run onto the pitch, and he would throw us in the air, and, you know, we'd scream, and, and then I would go with him back to the change room, to the locker room. And I remember walking into the locker room and smelling the musk of the men. And I had like a panic attack and realized that I shouldn't be there. Like something was wrong. And you know, at that age, you don't know what it is, but you just know that it's wrong. So I ran out of the locker room to my mother and I'm like, I have to go home, I have to go home, I have to go home now. And she's like, what happened? I was like, nothing, nothing. I just want to go home. And from that moment on, it changed for me and I look at I used to look at myself in the mirror and like want myself to change and you made your transition and you became a model uh-huh a Vogue model correct and did your employers know did people know they around not, you they, well my employers in South Africa knew that I was transgender um, some of them knew that wasn't really spoken about um, but when I when I modeled for Vogue they did not know I don't th know if they even know now why didn't you why did you keep it quiet um, I didn't want to, to jeopardize my career. I thought it you would. You would have been fired. I would have not gotten campaigns or jobs and things like that. And actually, a photographer did out me. He sold my story to Reuters. So back to Caitlyn Jenner, a full circle. She, yes. <laughs> she's changed the discussion in many ways. She has. She's brought it to the forefront. She has. Yeah. Um, but you're concerned about it. You're, it's not the focus you want. Why? I just think that it, it makes people look at us differently. It changes the landscape of it. You know, I always think of myself as being at this gender impasse of XX and XY. And... It's actually a, a, a syndrome that you were born with, yes? I had Kleinfelter syndrome. And what does that mean? I had one chromosome off of the normal. And what does that do? I think it, I, I think it changes the landscape of your body inside and makes you think a little bit differently. Well, give me a sense of what your life has been like and how difficult, if it has been, how difficult it has been to be transgender in the world that you live in. You live in Miami. I live um, in Miami and I haven't, I don't really feel like it's been difficult. difficult for me. I don't. Because there are many in the transgender community who have faced suicide and, and have had difficulty with drugs and, and um, their own head. It's, it's, and, uh, and, and clearly the result of some of the horrible things that people have done to them. And right, and I them. feel empathy for those people. I mean, the suicide rate is now 41% in the trans community. And that's very, I mean, that's outrageously high. Um, that's like four out of 10 people trying to commit suicide. But then again, they show that if you have the love and support of your family and friends, that rate drops astronomically. Is that what happened to you? I had my family was, were fully supportive. My friends were fully supportive. I had a, I was very blessed. Well, good luck with your book. Good luck with your website. Thank Seems you. to meet you, and uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.